think that reality in and of itself, or at least the collective way of we of thinking of reality is close to reality. It's just really an illusion far from it. It's a very good question. I, I, I've got quite a lot of stick for the title of the TED Talk, because I think the TED Talk says, we hallucinate our conscious reality. Now, that's, I think that's strictly true, but it's often been misinterpreted as me saying that you know, there's no relationship between what we experience and what's out there, that it's all, uh, it's all just in the mind. Everything is a hallucination completely. I am absolutely not saying that at all. Um, what we experience, sort of what I'm saying is, it's playing on this term that wasn't my term. I heard it from Chris Frith before me, and then it came from somewhere else. This idea of perception as a controlled hallucination. Mm -hmm. And the control is hugely important here. Uh, the hallucination part is the idea that what we perceive is not this direct readout of what's out there. It's, it's a best guess. It's an inference about the causes of sensory signals. I think that's, that's right. And hallucination is just a sort of an extreme example of that when our best guesses are not controlled by the environment. They become, they lose their grip on reality. Uh, and the control part is precisely that our perceptual best guesses are continually calibrated, continually updated by signals from the world. And that's why perception works. It's useful. We, if, if perception bore no relationship to what was actually out there, we wouldn't last very long as an individual or as a species. Yeah. So there's a very, very close relationship. However, there's a, there's a, a subtle point here, which, which I, I try to talk about in the book too, and I think about quite a lot. I mean, you can get very close in the sense that your perceptual system can be very, very sensitive to relevant sensory signals from the world. Um, and that can be very useful for the, for the organism. But this doesn't mean that your perception has to be completely accurate, that the best way to perceive the world would be the most accurate. In fact, that's almost certainly not the case. And others have made this point too. Donald Hoffman makes this point that, that we perceive the world not as it is, but as it's useful for us to do so. Wow. Uh, ac full comprehensive accuracy is not necessarily the most useful thing to perceive you know we need to highlight some things we need to construct some aspects of our conscious world that will ultimately benefit the organism color is a very good example of this so color we experience as being a real property of the outside world but we know we don't need neuroscience to know this newton tells us this that, that colors don't exist as a objective mind independent property of the world the brain constructs colors in order to help the organism uh, behave. So if you ask, you, when we experience color, is that close to what's out there? And what the question doesn't even make sense because colors don't exist out there in the world anyway. Mm -hmm. They are constructed by our brains. So conscious experience in general is not the sort of thing that approximates reality or can be close to it but it is controlled and guided by it in ways that can vary in their utility for the organism. Anil, I may never see colors the same way from now on. <laughs>